Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a Web Pro Access on Bluehost. So, the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But, of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button which will actually take you into this page which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the blue host website of course if you want to log in into your account and if you already have it simply click as login button at the top right corner and if you don't have an account you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan and it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year you can simply just go and buy your own domain by clicking at this domains option right here and of course it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from and from there you can start and create your account with that way also so for me i'm just going to click at login which will log in into my account directly because i already logged in into my account in this pc and that is going to be my screen once i logged in into my account so as we said in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to grant access or to add Web Pro ho uh, access on Bluehost. So to grant your Web Pro access to manage like your website from the Bluehost account, you will need actually to sign an email with a secure link or key that has been generated in the mass or maestro dashboard. Of course, this will depend on where your website is hosted. If it's hosted with like Bluehost secure link or hosted elsewhere secure key. Of course, if you want to know how to grant access, you can click on advanced so you can get into your cPanel. Then you can locate the file manager, click on it, which will open a new tab. And here, of course, simply, you can simply like select the file or the folder name you wish to change permission for. And in the menu, you can select like change permission. This selects permission as appropriate for your needs, of course. Sorry, as I said, you can select whatever you want and you can just give permission to whatever you want. So this will be actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.